Hello everyone. This video is going to describe the notation I like to use when writing scientific equations. So we're going to start off with letters and numbers and then go to shorthand um, for, for words and meanings. So I and J, I like to write I with a tail and J is a lowercase cursive to keep them from being confused. Z gets a crossbar in the middle. T gets a tail. Lowercase t gets a tail. S, I always write in cursive to keep that from being confused with a 5. V gets a horizontal tail at the end to keep it from being confused with U. Capital V gets a, a horizontal line through the middle. W gets a tail at the end. X's get a, a tilde flourish at the beginning and end to keep them from being confused with a T. 7's get a line through the middle and Y's are written in lowercase cursive fashion. This keeps you from being confused when you're writing out significant uh, index notation style of equations. Now the shorthand for for keep making your notes writing notes quicker. So three dots in a triangle gener generally means therefore I like to use a double barred arrow for implies. Implies means or uh, goes to. I like to use brackets for including. Obviously, internet shorthand at means at. That's most people do. I like to use either a single arrow or more standard, just triple equals for a definition. Uh, a tilde is on the order on the order of or approximate order of or approximate. So use two greater than symbols for much greater than and similar for, for less than. So equals F parentheses is a, a function of notation. F a little better. Obviously not equals or the slant through it is, is not equals. Um, I like to use a double tilde as approximate. The, the infinity symbol is obviously infinity. That's a nice way to go. You have alpha is proportional to Obviously the AND symbol is AND. That's nice and easy. You have with W with a line and without. Um, and then I like to just use a PT for point. And that's a significant fraction of the shorthand that I like to use when I'm taking notes or writing writing notes either during a class or when I'm reading a paper and writing something like that. I hope you find this found this useful. Have a good day.